Hello, everybody. I wanted to take just a moment and kind of go over some of our reopening procedures. Um, I'm super excited about us being able to come back together. We've been praying for y'all. Hope that you're doing well. Still praying for those that are sick. Um, the last few days, James 1.5 has been on my mind just continuously. And of course, James 1.5 is a verse that reminds us that we can ask God for wisdom. Um, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives to all liberally without reproach, and it will be given to him. And certainly that's what we've been asking for over these last few days is wisdom as to how to deal with coming back together. And I appreciate the deacons so much. We met last Monday and uh, really mapped out what I feel like is a good plan for us coming back together. So let me go over some of those things. First of all, we want you to feel safe. So we had roughly 200 plus chairs in here. And so we have taken a good many of those chairs away so that we can social distance. I believe we're down to about 120 now. Um, we've increased the space in between the pews to nine feet. And uh, we just ask that when we come back together, if you would sit in your family groups. That's kind of what we did before when we reopened. So you'll come in and there's different numbers of chairs in different sections. If you need more chairs, we'll get that fixed for you. But we just ask that you sit in your family groups and we think that'll keep you safe. Uh, several people have asked me about masks. And uh, really, I'm going to leave that up to you. I encourage you to wear one if you're comfortable doing that, just to put everyone at ease. I will be wearing one. Uh, certainly, once we get in here and spread out, uh, we'll kind of see how that works. But I do encourage you to do that. But it's not required. Of course, we are taking extra precautions in cleaning our building. One of the things that we have done is we have um, purchased a commercial-grade fogger. This has chemicals that are hospital grade at killing viruses and different things. And so an individual will suit up and actually fog spray the entire facility after we leave for service. So you can know that every inch of the, the place has not only been cleaned, but this fogging will take place after the cleaning to give us an extra layer of protection. Also, we've ordered extra hand sanitizing units. If you remember at the doors, we had the freestanding units that you slide your hand under. I will say sometimes we think they don't work because you have to hold your hand there for a second or two, but they do work. We've ordered a few more of those and we'll place them around. And I just encourage you to use the good common sense that you've been using. If you don't feel well, then please, we just encourage you to watch our online service. And uh, as you come in here, just separate. We've got plenty of room to separate. But all that together, I, I, and, and of course, we know the good Lord's going to take care of us, and, and I'm just excited about us being able to come back together. But just know that we're doing everything that we can do as a church to make our facility as safe as we can so that you can come and worship. I also want to tell you about our coming back and having on-campus services for the month of August. And let me emphasize before we go into the details that this is temporary. For the month of August, we are going to have a Saturday night service. It will be at 6 p.m. here in our gym. So, yes, you heard that correctly. I know that's different than we normally would do. Um, as Baptists, you're probably thinking, we ain't never done it that way before. But uh, we're, we're in strange times right now, and we're having to be creative to keep people safe. So for the month of August, we will be here in the gym at 6. Now, our very first service will be August the 7th. And uh, let me kind of go over some of the reasoning behind that. First of all, Saturday night, I feel like we will have a smaller crowd, so we'll be able to spread out. But also, that allows me to preach the sermon, and it be recorded so that it will be ready to be viewed on Sunday morning by the number that are not going to be able to come back for a while. So that's one of the big reasons that we're doing it on a Saturday evening. Also, um, we are not able to really uh, go to that lengthy cleaning process if we have back-to-back -back services. So by having it on Saturday, that'll be the only time we're here on campus. Um, at this point, there's not going to be any Sunday school. Uh, we'll readdress that issue as we get into September. Uh, there may be some committee meetings that, that have to take place. We've got some things coming up, but I'll let the committee members know about that and how we're going to meet. But just know for the month of August, we're going to be meeting in here on Saturday evenings. That's temporary. It'll be a smaller group. As I said earlier, we can spread out. 
that allows our media team to record that service so that it will be up and going Sunday morning for those that are not able to come back yet to watch it. So hopefully that will all work out. Folks, we're going to come and I'm going to preach the word and we're going to pray that God will, will save the lost and that hearts will be met with what they need and, and that they'll trust the Lord. And hey, we don't know what God's going to do. Maybe by having it on a Saturday evening for a few Sundays, um, that might introduce some people to come to our church that can't come on Sunday. So we'll just pray that God will, will do what God wants to do through that situation. But we love you. Lisa and I are here, and, and really all of the deacons, we're here to serve you. So if we can do anything to help you, please let us know that. We love y'all.